All right. Um, I thought we had a good day today. Um, you know, yesterday going back and watching the film, I, I thought we got solid work. Um, you know, we were minus you know one day in normal recovery, so guys were still you know pretty sore. Uh, but I thought we were able to implement uh, our, our, our our base things for game plan, thought process. Uh, I thought today we had uh, you know pretty good energy. Uh, some continue to work third down situations. Uh, you know, just building upon us, and that's you know. You know, Jacksonville State does some great things, uh, you know, schematically. Uh, they got some talented personnel. So, I mean, that, you know, obviously we're, tr we're doing uh, our due diligence in, in that regards. But, you know, just for us, it's just about the, the daily investment in our work, you know, making sure that our timing, clean up the, the, the little things, the mistakes. Um, you know, we're able to get uh, you know, a couple two-minute drills in today. I thought was I thought was positive. Um, you know, good seeing a response from Riley, was, uh, you know, or from Ryan. It was actually uh, – um, you know, impressive. We found ourselves in the same exact situation as the other night, and I mean, you know, he was—he uh, you know, finished the game the right way, and uh, you know, great to see the response from him and just what he's doing. Um, but I thought, all in all, it was a good work day, and uh, you know, excited about continuing to build for this week. I mean, it was—it was good. You know, normal uh, normal soreness. He got you know, he got a couple a couple times he. Uh, you know, had some pretty good contact, so uh, a normal game type soreness. But um, you know, he's played a lot of football, and um, it had been a while since he played. But it was it was good to see him out there competing. Um, you know, I really like how he's, he's continuing to respond, and uh, you continue to get better, kind of back in the back in the groove of it. You mentioned Ryan's response today to hit the field goal after that moment on Sunday. I mean, you know, Ryan, is, he's had a, a tremendous camp and, you know, he put us in a position to be able to to be in overtime. And um, it's one of those things that you got to you have to you have to learn through the experience. Uh, there's a, um, you know, it's just um, it's it's uh, it's tough, you know, whenever you're, you're in those situations and you come up short. But the thing that I absolutely know is that, you know, you know Ryan has done a great job of uh, being able to work and put himself in a wonderful position uh, to, to be in that opportunity. Thanks, Derek. I mean, that's, uh, here we go, watch this. Hey, let's move it. This way. This way. Yeah! Yeah! Y'all didn't know talent. Derek, just so you know, next time we do this, this is where we're gonna be. Cause like the big window allows rain to come right at you, but that is audible. Yes, sir. Check, check. The emphasis on the defensive back playing the football today seemed like something that was brought up a lot. I guess how you see the guys kind of respond and take Sunday and work on that. And that's that's one of those things that I mean, I thought our guys were in solid position. Um, you know we've got to you know we've got to compete our butts off at, at the catch point, and um, you know that's one of those things that we just got to continue to, to drill, continue to train, trust the fundamentals. Um, you know, and you know, they're, they're embracing it. They understand we have to get better. I mean, you, you, you know, when you're going to play in this defense, there's going to be times that you're going to have uh, those one-on-one -on -one situations, um, and we got to win them. So that, that's a that's a big uh, point of our competition, and you know, seeing guys elevate their game. I mean, I, I think there's, there's there's balance in in, in college athletics um, is, is sometimes you know it's a good thing and you know I played small college ball and so I mean I know that there's there were games or opportunities that allowed uh, you know for those programs and not just football programs the athletic departments um, you know or fuel themselves from that um, you know you, there, there's talented players there at the FCS level there's there's talented players you know throughout and so um, you know we. You know, once again, we're focused on ourselves and, and our improvement and our growth. I'm excited to have, have another opportunity to, to play a game in Dope Campbell Stadium in front of our fan base and to see our guys uh, you know, work to grow. I mean, you know, this Jacksonville State, State squad we played last year, and uh, you know, we found ourselves in a very uncomfortable situation because, you know, they've got good players. And, you know, we've got to go out there and play well because um, this is a team that's very talented. Who's that? You're continuing, you're continuing to, to go through uh, you know, his process, and uh, you will track that as it goes through the week. The GPS data, is it even more important on a short week like this to kind of understand who may need to back off and who's recovering well? Yeah. You know, it's, uh, you know we're, we're, we've got uh, we've got great data from the game, and just uh, the output that we had 
uh, top speeds, workloads. I mean, it was, we played, we played and gave a high level of effort in that game. Um, you know, our team speed was, was remarkable. Um, coming off of that, you have to be smart in some things. I mean, it's, uh, you know, I think we've had some balance, we've had a few adjustments just with a short week of practice. Things that we always do, but making sure that the intensity of the rep is where it needs to be um, and, and making sure that our guys are, are going to have their legs so that we can go and, and be better than what we were uh, this Sunday. Oh, it was, uh, you know, he was, he was well over, well over 20. I can't remember, I can't remember the exact number, but it was, it was impressive speed. I told him, he, I mean, he needs to keep that rocket boost for wherever that, wherever that's been, man. That was, uh, it was impressive. Yeah, I mean, uh, Malik McLean, you know, that's that's what it's supposed to look like. The way he works, the way he comes to to, uh, to practice every day. You know, a lot of people talk about wanting to be great. You know, he's he's making the investment uh, and is you know as a true freshman that just started here. Um, you know, we got the right guy. Uh, there's you know there's things that uh, you know uh, fundamentally that we have to be more focused on, especially uh, in times of movement. Um, Sometimes facing you know different you know uh, you know different movements that we have at center that you it just rely on the fundamentals and you know we've got guys that have played center for a long time um, and those are things that have to get cleaned up and um, you know guys being held accountable to uh, to doing things to the standard of how we need to operate but um, you know, it's definitely something we're working through. Yeah, we're we're excited about that group, and uh, you know, obviously, the development of what you know what Jordan has showed, um, you know, I think I think is remarkable. You know, he's got some things he's got to clean up from last week. Uh, you're seeing you know McKenzie come in and the, the impact that he made. I mean, it's it's pretty special. We've got a great quarterback room. Right, thanks, guys.